All right, guys, I just want to say welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. I know the last video really hurt a lot of people. I didn't know if I was actually going to come back and play this game again. But my friend said, give it an open mind. Open your mind. Take it for what it's worth and move on. And you know what? I'm definitely going to do that because I think that's a great advice. But guys, if you support the show, the video would really mean a lot. I'm going to pick up right where I left off. Let's get it. Or couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. Were you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just... I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? Are we talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Happened. Guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. He got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Um, uh, we're not. Uh huh. Hey, have a little faith. What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. You know, guys, I actually remember the time she was talking about because he was actually getting stuck up. Remember when we was in that uh, hotel room and we were climbing up the ladder and we got kicked in the face? And Joel went down and the one hunter was coming right after him. She shot him. And I, th I think she got almost sick during that ability. And he got mad at her just a little bit. I'm sorry I'm talking over him. It's going to happen probably a lot. I know there's a lot of dialogue. But I remember that aspect of the game. And it was unique because she's like, I can't believe I shot him. Question. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Hmm. Probably... Invisibility? Strong choice. Is that so you can spy on me? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. And I think all she wanted for Joel to do is, is just trust her with a gun. At that moment in time, he did not. He was like, grabbed the gun. He was kind of mad at her. And then right there at the end, when we were coming out of the hotel room, he goes... You know what? I am trusting you. And that's when he grabbed the pistol and she was like, I only shot a BB gun at rats. And he's like, well, it's the same thing. And I, I definitely remember that part of the game. And that was something about unique about The Last of Us Part 1. Now, my buddy told me to keep an open mind about this. And I will. This place right here is really beautiful. A lot of good stuff. You know, I'm getting like the Walking Dead vibes just a little bit in Days Gone. Uh, when it comes right down to Dink and St. John. You know, I know they're two different genres of, I have to say, post apocalyptic games but in the same aspect just different you know you've got the last of us franchise and then you have days gone franchise and if they ever decide to make a days gone 2 which i probably think they will do i don't know if it ever comes out but you know that guy played in a lot of stuff the main uh t not antagonist i want to say the main character but it was actually a really good game i i had like i think 70 parts of that game that i did and there was an in between where i like took a little bit of a break and i didn't I think I didn't play nothing for like 10 days almost. And then I kept getting crashes on that game. And it was just messed up. Or audio and video footage was messed up too. But I had a different computer at the, at the time as well. So I couldn't make longer videos like I wanted to. Man, I just... Joel, the way they took him out. Now, I'm going to keep an open mind about this, guys. Please do the same thing. Just let's keep an open mind about it. I know it kind of like drove me insane when I seen that. See what shimmer. Yeah. I know I put a little sign in there that says I'm super pissed. Well, I kind of was. I, I really was, man, because I don't even know who Abby is. I know I keep talking about Abby. Like, who is this girl? What What's what's she all about and why? And the only thing I can think of, now, I know I said this before, 
if we go back, we play The Last of Us Part One. At the end of The Last of Us Part One, and you're getting all these, um, you're in the medical hospital, I believe, and you're getting all these little tapes, you know, as little recordings of Marlene talking about Abby. So either it's her mother, and I'm wrong, or it's someone close. So I, I don't know. Maybe Joel did something that really pissed this person off. I have no idea. We're, we're going to find out. I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm still going to play the game. I've already got about eight hours of the game that I still need to edit. And that's what we're doing. So hopefully it'll work out the way we want. I'll try to keep the exploring down to a minimum. But with me playing on hard, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of exploring here. And I just want to let you guys know that. I know a lot of people is just rushing it, getting it out there. I feel like if I play the game my way, then I'm going to have fun with it. If I play it like everybody else's, I'm not going to have fun with it. So, and that's what I want to do. And Spider-Man, guys, give me patience. I got videos already for that game. You just got to give me patience. I really want to stick with The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, it's one of the games that I've just been really looking there? forward to. Tourist, even though I got pissed off about Joel dying. I mean, that, that got me really angry. But we're going to see why they took him out of the game. And I understood that we're going to take him out of the game sooner or later. Just, I was hoping not so soon. I cannot get under there. And I think a lot of us was hoping not so soon. Now, I didn't watch spoilers, leaks, nothing like that. I mean, I'm, a, I'm still a little angry about it. I, I like want to slap, you know, them in the face for it. But it is what it is. And now we're just Ellie. And I, I felt like even somewhere when we were playing The Last of Us Part 1, I didn't think Joel was actually going to stick around much longer. But, you know, rest in peace, Joel. Be with Sarah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are together. Say He did say in one part, it's luck. And it is going to run out. So we've got to keep an open mind about that. And that's when he was, uh, when they were traveling through the city of Seattle. And I believe it was Seattle. If I'm not mistaken, I'd have to go back and, you know, replay the game. I could be wrong. Where he said it is luck and it is going to run out. So, I mean, we, we got to keep that open mind about that you are in a zombie world and it is luck and no matter what happens it just takes one one mistake and it's over with and joel's mistake was trusting abby and so was tommy's but my only question is why didn't they kill tommy think about how well we had our luck outs i know that's what scares me because right now we're we're, we're finding tommy and in the last video she's like you know bring my stupid husband home now hopefully tommy's not dead that's even if we run into him. If he is dead, man, I'm going to feel so heartbroken because Tommy and Joel, I understand they had their, their differences when it came to the beginning and the end when uh, we went to the actual Termine, because I, I believe it was the, the Termine, if I'm not mistaken or if I'm saying that right, where him, he's like, you got to take her off my hands because I remember at the time, Joel did not want to take Ellie across to the Fireflies. He wanted to go to Tommy. He wanted to say, hey, Tommy, I'm handing her off to you. These were your cats. You guys go ahead and take care of it. You know, and then Tommy's like, I'm not taking that girl. I'm married, Joel, you know. So I remember that aspect a little bit about the game as well. Because in the beginning, Tommy was there. He's like, damn, Joel, is that your blood? He's like, I, I can't drive over him. And that was in the beginning. Now, the part that I'm talking about was more towards the end of the game. Then Tommy kind of felt a little heartfelt. I mean, Jacksonville, we went there. Brother, I'm going to do this for you. And then Joel's like, you know what? I got this. Is that the QZ? Yep. Watch the high spots. And if I'm not mistaken, I remember Joel saying, you know, I don't want that wife of your years coming back trying to kill me. And, and that was cool. I mean, that was cool. That was a great element of the game. And I'd love to go back. If I'm explaining that right now, I could be explaining it, you know, totally wrong. The Last of Us Part Two, 2013. I played it and then I played it again. I think back in 2017, 2018. Don't like the videos. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the commentary either in those videos. But it is when I first started. We got a hammer. Let's see if we can break some some windows out of these cars. So I mean, in that aspect, learning different things about how to sit back and enjoy ourselves with this. We just got to keep it over mind. I mean, I know my buddy said the same thing, and I, I definitely am. I'm going to keep it over mind. Looks like there's some cracks up there in the wall up above. You see it? Yeah. Not sure how we get up there, though. Hmm. 
I mean, there was a lot of good parts in The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, or Last of Us Part 1, excuse me. I mean, you really fell for the characters. I understand that when Neil Drakeman did this, it was more about hate and how much hate we could put in. So, I mean, it, it all depends. I'm, I'm swinging, like, for the horses here. <laughs> trying to swing out the ballpark just a little bit. Just trying to break these windows. Because I know in Days Gone, and I know they're two different genres. I, I know I refer that to uh, Days Gone as well. But uh, Days Gone is where you could actually open the trunk doors up, open all kinds of doors to get stuff. I am playing this on hard, so my ammo is very limited. I did do some research. When you're playing on hard, ammo is going to become very limited. They want you to actually work on stealth, uh, the stealth mechanics and the stealth elements. So that's what I definitely want to do. I'm going to read a little bit of those. Guys, if I go too quick, just pause the video. You guys go ahead and read them. I read them while I'm during my editing. This way I can catch up on the story. I mean, me sitting here reading like every note. Oh, God. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, oh, what was I saying? <laughs> you know, I'd be squinting to read sometimes, you know. Looking like an old man over here. Well, wait a minute. I am an old man. <laughs> I feel like... We haven't scratched the surface of this game whatsoever. And I just, I can't wait to see how it's going to open up. So far between the part, I know it's like I said, a couple days. I was not, I, I didn't know if I was going to come back to this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go play Spider-Man. And I did put a lot of Spider-Man videos uh, yesterday. And then I spent time with my family. I just had to walk away from it. Are these cages? Holding cells. Soldiers have them in Boston too. I mean, I'm just trying to wrap my whole head around everything. And then that part where it says, you know, I'm sitting here thinking like just to myself, you know, and watching some of my older videos of The Last of Us Part 1 that's on the channel. And the part, I, I don't know what it was, but the part where he said, you know, it's luck and it's going to run out. Then I was like, okay, I, I think I get it a little bit now. Let me go back. Let's let's get back into The Last of Us Part 1. Let's play, you know, let's play some hours. So I played it last night as well. Got back into it. Really starting to enjoy the game a little bit more. I understand where he was coming from, and that's what really made me come back to this game. Because I can understand, yeah, it is luck, and it is going to run out sooner or later. So, that's where I got that uh, terminology from, because it was in The Last of Us Part 1. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right, Joel. Even though you had to go, it had to be you the left. You know, you, Tess. Hopefully nothing will help into Tommy as we're going here, because then it would just be to Joel and Ellie, Tess, Tommy, who else? Oh man, a lot of people. Sarah. Dina, help me up here. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I was doing a See little bit of my homework. From the other side. Sounds good. You know, I was like, I gotta go back. I gotta figure out what where this Abby chick is. The only thing I found out was the recorders, and I know I keep saying that a lot. Now, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, leave it in the comments below. Don't be afraid to comment, guys. Leave that shit in the comments. If it's negative, it's negative. I don't, I don't even care. I thrive off negative shit, too. So, it is what it is. But I've got to I've gotta keep with Joel here, man. I mean, Joel's my dude. i got to keep with him and what he said. So, I, I know I'm repeating myself a lot around it. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. I thought it was going to be over for me. I thought it was like, you know what? This shit's not happening. I ain't, I ain't jumping this. If I die here, I'm going to get so pissed. I'm going to throw my controller. Here we go. If you guys are afraid of heights, I do apologize. I like to look down because, you know, when you're playing on a widescreen television, and I mean widescreen, 21 by 9. Yes, I said that weird. I said that right. really weird, didn't I? It's like 21 by 9. You know, my dad, I, I got to go back because my dad was a big fan of the channel, and I, I have to, like, really, how do I put it? 
I, I want to dedicate this to him. I mean, this is a dedication, basically. You know, he's passed away. He loved The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, it was uh, noticed. But back when I did the second part of The Last of Us, um, he was already passed. I, I dedicate that series to him. So I'm going to dedicate this back to my dad. And th that's what it'll be. So, Dad, rest in peace wherever you are. We love you. Be safe. And hopefully I'll see you soon. So there's there's my time cancel on that one. Hopefully my dad's watching right now, you know. Leave a comment, Pops. I know, I remember my dad actually being uh, really, like, stuck on Ellie and Joel. You know, he'd be... He'd have been so pissed at what he saw. I could see him now. I could see his face. His face would have been like, them, them, you know, beep, 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 beep. You know, and I'm not going to cuss like that, but uh, he would have just been like going off on it. He would have just been like ripping it. And it made it so mad. See a Joel die. I could see his face right now. He'd be like hotly pissed. He'd have probably threw his monitor. <laughs> oh, damn. Dad, rest in peace. Rest in peace, buddy. You know, it was weird. He was looking on YouTube, and I, he said he saw one of my videos. And I remember that day, too. I saw this Last of Us video. I mean, the, the series, and I'm like, I saw the end of it. I got to go back and rewatch it because I didn't know what happened. I remember that day. He's like, yeah, he's like, dude, keep doing what you're doing. I remember that. He was like, yes. I was like, okay, you got it. And I've enjoyed it ever since. I mean, I, I can't stop doing YouTube. Um, as much as I want sometimes to walk away, I, I can't do it. I just, I can't do it. As, as much as I've turned around. You know, I'm just going to walk away. But every day, every day I'm here and I'm, I'm making videos and I'm live streaming and I'm busting my ass just to do it. And I'm almost 40 years old, guys. I will be 30. I will be 40 years old this year at the end of 2020 and October 3rd is my birthday. So just to let you guys know that the more, you know, right? So I'm going to be 40 years old right now. I am 39 years old and I've been sitting here ever since I was, oh man, I, I don't even remember. I'd have to go back and do the math. So 2006 is when I started. So back in 2006, I think I was 26 years old. Oh man, it's been that long. And then I stopped. I stopped because I was working really bad. Then I started my channel again back in 2013. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in so hard. And then I was live streaming because my internet was stupid. And I wanted to live stream. I want to do something differently. Okay. I wonder when this was written. Saravena base. That's something. I cannot believe we're actually almost 17 minutes in. <laughs> oh, what was I talking about? I don't even remember now. I'm sorry, guys. That's old age for you. <laughs> it's old age. I can't help it, man, you know. My buddy said I'm crazy for going in with a hardcore. He's like, you're nuts. Why are you doing it? All right, guys. Sorry about that. A little bit of a transition there. I'm going to open this door up. We're going to go from there. This ain't too bad. I'm actually, I'm pretty lit about it so far. I don't even remember what I saw about now. I have, every time I start playing this game, I got someone like, one that bother me. This is not too bad. 18 minutes in. Uh, let's see. So I got to plug this in here. This is pretty lit. one now well we believe in you thanks all right so what do i gotta do here so we gotta get this gate open i'm gonna head up over this way because if there's a generator here i'm gonna unplug this there's got to be one on the other side i don't see another generator over there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this rope or this cord 
I'm gonna toss it over the fence. This was never, this never happened actually in The Last of Us. I'm, I'm kind of glad they actually did it this way. It makes it so much easier. I don't know if that cord is good to stretch though, is it? All right, guys, here we go. It's about to get lit. <laughs> about to get this. I don't know how much gas. Can I? Uh, I don't know if I want to break that. Let's see. So far, I haven't really seen anything legit. I mean, we've been finding notes, I guess, a little bit here and there, but nothing else. Let me see. I'm gonna. I'm always getting like drawers that have nothing in them. Interesting. I've been finding a lot of like parts when it comes to like the guns and stuff. Let's mess with this console real quick. Let's see, what was that again? I thought it was like zero something. Yeah, zero five twelve. Okay. That's the main gate. So what do we gotta do? We gotta punch it in. Alright, let's see. Zero five twelve. Yes. I saw this back here. I want to see if I can actually break. You know what? Can I get back there? I'm going to craft this. Let me craft one of these. Let me do this. I'm always out of stuff from Ed Kits. I don't really find a lot of alcohol either. So I'm going to just keep this Molotov on me. So how do I get back there? There's a tower back there that I definitely want to get. So can I actually break this? You know, the obstacles are not that hard. I mean, I do feel a little bit like the Uncharted series. Then you got Days Gone. And then what else do you have here? I think it's about it. I mean, I feel like I can explore anywhere I want to go. I mean, it feels a little bit linear. You're still on that one path. So, I don't know. Someone says this game's like 30 to 40 hours long. So, I don't really know if it's that long. 30 to 40 hours long. That would just be insane. I'm going to say maybe about, I don't know, 30 minute videos, eight hours, you know, a time you play it, edit videos. Well, yeah, I guess if you're looking at a, a YouTuber's point of view, it would probably be about, I'd say 30 to 40 hours because you got to edit the videos, you got to play them and then you play long sessions. And most of us guys who uh, actually do YouTube, we're always in our editors more than we're in our <laughs> game. But then again, we play these like, long ass sessions like 10 hours 11 hours 12 hours you know so we, we get a lot done i don't sit there and have a stopwatch of how many hours it would be so we have to see how that works now what i found a note back there it had some codes on it. it says there's a wlf safe house at some place called seravina base seravina so we find it Hopefully we find our first WLF. Get them to talk. Go from there. Let's do it. You know, there's one person I haven't seen so far. It's Bill. From The Last of Us Part 1. We have not ran into him at all. Ooh, that'd be legit. <laughs> oh shit, look. Saravina Hotel. That's gotta be it. Okay, let's find a way past this, uh, fuck Fedra gate. Very creative. Gets right to the point. Let's get closer and scope it out. Okay, here we go. <sighs> ah, it's out of gas. God damn it. Well, what do we do now? Oh, shit. The note. What? The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. 
courthouse garage and the dome. So what's the plan for finding these places? We ride around and see what we see. You think Tommy came through here? He did. Turning everyone against you. Which way am I supposed to go here? I'm just, I'm looking around. I'm exploring a little bit. I don't want to take too much time in exploring, but I know I'm going to have to because my buddy told me I have to definitely explore if I'm playing this on a harder difficulty. He's like, you should have just played it on normal. He's like, why do you always overdo it? <laughs> He's like, you should play it on normal. They go back, play it on a harder difficulty. I don't know. I like the challenge. I think they had that challenge with The Last of Us. You know, part one and two, because I played them, I played the other one on hardcore, and I'm playing this one on hardcore. I don't know if they have a survival mode in this, but what I may end up doing is I may end up going back and playing this during a live stream and doing it on the hardest difficulty. Why not? See how hard it really is, because I think it's really gonna actually take place with more stealth uh, when it comes to playing it on a harder difficulty. I'm crazy, guys. Don't mind me. I'm losing it. <laughs> Oh shit, we're like, what, 26 minutes in? Sorry guys, I know I keep knocking the time down. Pretty sure we're here. Ah, oh, nice. We'll mark it up as we go. Guessing the military bombed the shit out of this place. Why would they do that? Well, they would sometimes destroy parts of the city that were lost to the infected or to the rebels. That seems like overkill. Well, it usually worked. On the infected or the rebels? Both. Shit. Believe me. You're lucky you didn't grow up like QZ. I'm starting to get that impression. Look at what would have happened if I'd stayed. I'd probably just become one more asshole soldier. No way. I can't see you taking orders from anybody. Yeah. Good point. I gotta say, I was expecting the Seattle QZ to be a lot more... occupied? Yeah. Maybe they're all hiding at the Seravina. How many WLF you think there are anyway? Well, at least eight. If we're lucky, that'll be it. We'll be fine. But we should stay alert. Stock up while we can. Ooh, we are going to explore a dark area. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to be in here. Hopefully I don't run into no clickers or any type of zombies at this moment in time. Because lately it's been pretty smooth. Uh, we ain't had a lot of problems with that part, so... I mean, if we do, I'm going to try to be as stealthy as possible. Now, I don't know this map like the back of my hand. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Not enough ammo. I'm definitely going to want to take out that clicker. But the runner spots you so freaking fast when you're playing in a harder difficulty. I want to try to do as less editing as possible. So how how can I grab this? I want to grab the clicker. If I die in this, I'm going to get so angry. Oh, see? I'm, I'm a little scared. Don't get me wrong. I'm scared because I know if I mess up once, it's over. It's my ass. It's my ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> I'm serious. It will be. It will be here in a minute.
And them clickers look like they are some crap. All right, yeah, we got this Molotov. Let's get this. I feel like the Molotovs are not as strong as they used to be. Oh, this shit's about to be over. All right, I got this weapon. I only got 12 bullets, man. Damn. Two in the other one. All right, really, what is the point of being down here? I feel like I don't really need to be down here. Um, all right, I gotta do it. Fuck it, I'm gonna get spotted. Sooner or later, I gotta go for it. I can't sit right here in this one spot, so. And I don't wanna transition. I don't like the focus. The focus doesn't do like it did in the last one where it really outlined them and you see through walls. It is something different. It just puts a like a white. Oh shit, it's over. I knew it. Run like a bitch. <laughs> Let's go, get out of here. <laughs> You're not eating me like no Krispy Kreme donut. Fuck it. I'm going to sit right here and enjoy myself. <laughs> That's what I'm about to do. I feel sorry for somebody who's watching this eating a Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> that, would, that would be some shit, wouldn't it? What does this guy got wrong with food? <laughs> Schmancy. All right, so if I can get up there, I'd take it. So, can I climb this? I can't jump it, okay. There's got to be a way to get up there. Now, if I can get up there, then I'm down and get some more shit. But I don't see nothing I can pull over. You're definitely not pushing the table. So what was the point in coming here? Now look through all these drawers. Body armor guys were trying to rob the bank. Oh shit. It's like that movie. Which one? The one with the surfer bank robbers. Oh yeah. Love that movie. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh man, I'm about to open up a horde of zombie about to come out this bitch, isn't it? It's about to be over. No, don't get eaten. Dana, I think that's how you say your name. Okay, good. Ooh, I thought, man, we was opening something up. We should be opening up. You know, like, we was about to be a damn bitch. That would have been good. I don't I don't know what I would have done then. We would have ran. Oh, wow. We got a shotgun on this? Thanks, dude. That's it? Just a shotgun? Come on, guys. All right, guys. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. If you guys want more, you know what to do. Leave an open mind. I love you. Stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.